Now to the search for answers after a 13-year-old Broadway actress's deadly asthma attack. Dr. Jen Ashton was going to join us in a moment, but first, Kaylee Hartung has Laurel Griggs' story. Laurel Griggs was a rising star. I'll teach you the proper poise when you talk to boys, little ways to flirt and flops. Ooh. Appearing in big Broadway productions like the Tony Award winning Once. Okay, who's up next? And making audiences laugh on SNL. We both know coal is a dying industry. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Merry, Merry Christmas. The 13 year old passing away after suffering a massive asthma attack. Her grandfather sharing on Facebook, the world lost a real princess who only wanted to make the future happy for all. Acting was just a childhood dream come true, and she had big plans for the future. And Dr. Jen Ashton joins us here, and our, our heart goes out to mm. Laurel's family. Yeah. You, you just don't normally think of an asthma attack leading to something like this. No, and we have to understand and remember asthma is a common lung condition, but it can be potentially very serious, in some cases fatal. It's characterized by inflammation and narrowing of the passageways in our lung that then can cause, when someone is having an asthma attack, wheezing, chest tightness, shortness of breath, a cough, and it can, in, in some cases, lower the oxygen oxygen levels in our blood, which is a medical emergency. Can you explain how, how this happens? Well, you know, in some, we used to call it status asthmaticus. That, that was the cause of death in this tragic case. But basically, that's now called a severe asthma exacerbation. And that can happen when traditional treatments are not effective. This can last for hours. And in some cases, again, it could be fatal. Once someone's oxygen levels drop beyond a certain point, then you get cardiac and brain involvement and, and unfortunately mm. can be fatal. We do have to remember Still, it's rare. Less than 200 teens and children die in this country every year, but six million have asthma, and even one is too many. Absolutely, even yeah. one. So how do you know if you, you should go well, seek medical attention? You know, that's really the key, and you've heard me say it before, Robin. We don't expect parents to be make medical decisions other than trust their gut and their mm -hmm. instinct, but there are some signs to look out for. Number one, if your child is in the middle of an asthma attack and they need to stop talking mid-sense to catch their breath, that can be a sign. If they use their abdominal muscles to breathe, that's called retraction. And if they widen their nostrils when breathing, that's called mm -hmm. nasal flaring. And lastly, regardless of skin color, if you see a dusky or bluish tint to the lips or nail beds, that is an emergency. You need to get to an emergency. All things that we should yeah. keep in mind. I know that you wanted to say something. Yeah, Veterans Day. I want to give a shout out to all our women and men in uniform, but also my dad, uh, U.S. Air Force. I was born on an Air Force base. Super proud of him today and every day. Yeah. Yeah. GMA fans, Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.